In this video, you'll learn how to use a filter block using the Gutenberg block editor and our Youth WooCommerce Ajax product filter plugin. Before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell for notifications so you won't miss content like this in the future. One of the most exciting new features in Ajax product filter version 4 is the option to add filters like these not only using shortcodes and widgets, but also using our brand new Gutenberg block made for the WordPress block editor. In this video, I'll show you all three ways of adding filters, and we've added chapter marks in the video below so you can jump right ahead to the version that's most useful to you, or you just stick with me through the whole video. I already prepared a filter preset for this demo. You'll find filter presets at Yith and Ajax product filter. In this demo preset there are two different filters, just as an example for today. And if you haven't created your own filter presets yet, you'll find a whole video on that in the description below this video. Now we can head over to Pages and here we'll add our own page. In the first example, I'm going to show you how to add a custom sidebar to your site and then add the filter widget to the sidebar using just the default WordPress widget settings. I start by adding a products block to the site. And as an example, I'll use products by category, which is shipped with WooCommerce if you install the plugin itself. So here can you can select one or more categories and display them on the site. And as you can see, you have a neat preview here on the site. Now on the right hand side, there is a sidebar where you can switch over to page. And if you scroll down a bit, there is sidebar management and then the option sidebar. Here you can select a sidebar to assign to this site. Um, in this case, I use a Proteo theme, so there are a couple of sidebars here, and I pick sidebar number two. Then I hit publish and actually publish this site. Now we have to leave the editor and add a widget to the sidebar. We do this in appearance and widgets. On the left hand side, there are all the widgets available to your site. And we are looking for Yith Ajax filters preset. Here you can select the sidebar you'd like to add the widget to. In my case, as you saw, it's sidebar two. I hit add widget. And now I could select the preset to show on the, on the site. But since there's only one preset on my website, it's already pre-selected. Now we can take a look at the site. Let's dive right in. And as you can see, there are the products I chose alongside the filters I've just added in the sidebar. Now in the next example, I'm going to show you how to add the filters using a shortcode. And for that, I'm going back to the editor. Because I want our site to still resemble the classic sidebar and content area layout, I'm going to recreate it in Gutenberg using a columns block. The columns block, when inserted, uh, has the option for us to select one of different variations. I'm going to pick a two columns view that has a one third and two third layout and I can simply drag and drop my existing products block inside the wider of the two columns. On the left hand side, I'm going to add a shortcode block. And in here I can paste the shortcode that's generated on the Yith and Ajax product filter site we visited before. When I hit on update and switch over to our website and reload it, you can see that there are in fact the filters I added before 
just this time added via a shortcode. And now for the last example, we are going to replace this shortcode block with a native Gutenberg block that's shipped with our Ajax product filter plugin. It's called um, filter preset. And in here, after you insert it, you can select the preset on the right hand side. And you can see a nice little preview of it. And after you update the content of the site, you see that still it has the same output as the one I used before. Now, before we wrap up this final example, I have one last thing to show you. There is another block you might want to add to your site that will allow your customers to remove the filters they set before and most of all see all the filters in one place. Let's go to our editor view and take a look at how to add it to your site. You can add it at any place inside the editor. I'll put it in front of all the products I have. And it's called Yith Active Filters Labels. Now in the preview that will appear here, you can see there will be added some filter labels in accordance to the filters your customer selects and a nice little reset button. I update the page, move over to the front end and reload the page. And as you can see, there's nothing to see here quite yet because the labels are only added as soon as your customers select a filter on the left hand side. And you can either remove the filters one by one by clicking here. Or if you want to remove all filters at once, you can click on the reset filters button and go back to the default. And this is it. This is how you add filter presets using widgets, shortcodes or our new Gutenberg block. Thank you for watching and see you next time.